World City Hyderabad was the epicenter of all the golfing action in the last week of February. From its biryani to its historical structures, Hyderabad is an alluring city in all aspects. Adding to this, the Golconda Masters Golf Championship 2016 returned to the Hyderabad Golf Club for its second edition, with 120 professionals and six amateurs in the fray playing for a 40 lakh rupee prize purse, which saw a significant 10 lakh increase from the inaugural version last year. The tournament was set to display the talent of the leading professional golfers of India and its neighbouring countries, with veteran golfers like 2012 Panasonic Open winner Digvijay Singh, 2016 Cochin Masters champion Firoz Ali Molla, and the runner-up of the 2015 Golconda Masters Golf Championship Shamim Khan, who narrowly missed the title last year in the playoff to Harendra Gupta. This is the third tournament of this year. I have started the tournament. फिनिश बेटर नहीं हो रहा लेकिन ओवरऑल स्कोर वाइज अगर मैं देखता हूं तो काफ़ी अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस हो रहा है कुछ थोड़ी बहुत कहीं कमियां हैं जो कि मैं उनको इम्प्रूव करने की कोशिश कर रहा हूं थोड़ा सा कहीं गलतियां हैं तो उनको अगर मैं थोड़ा ठीक करता हूं तो उम्मीद करता हूं आने वाले टूर्नामेंट में और जो ये अब टूर्नामेंट स्टार्ट हो रहा है गुलकुंडा मास्टर्स और इसके बाद जो टूर्नामेंट आने वाले हैं तो उम्मीद कर सकता हूँ काफ़ी आगे चल के काफ़ी बेटर होगा After missing the cut in the first two events of the 2016 calendar, defending champion Harendra Gupta was looking to make a fresh start to his season with a spirited title defence at the HGC. Striking is a lot of bad, a lot of feel off. The last 2-3 months I'm doing a lot of bad ball. Now the new set has changed, so I'm doing a lot of ball. I also feel like I won last year, so I'm going to win. I'm a lucky goal person, I'm going to win a lot of bad. फील्ड डाउन में मैं टूर्नामेंट जीता था और प्लेऑफ में लकी इस लास्ट 17 होल पे डबल बॉगी मार के टूर्नामेंट में जीता और ये टूर्नामेंट जीत के मेरे काफी कॉन्फिडेंस और बढ़िया का वापस आएगा। Giving the title holder a run for his money was the Asian Tour rookie Shubhankar Sharma. He was riding high on confidence thanks to his win in Bangalore in the third week of February 2016. Yeah, I think I played really well last week. I mean, tee to green, I played really good golf. I played really well. Throughout the week, and uh, yeah, I won after two years, so really happy with last week. Now that I won, it's like I said, it's very important uh, to you know ride the wave and continue the momentum. So I think that's what I want to do this week. Another youngster in the hunt was Chandigarh's Ajitesh Sandhu. Ajitesh took the second place in the 2015 Built Open, but was now keen to grab a win with C Muniappa's putter in his bag. It's been three years now since my last win, so. Um, I'm itching for that, but I think a lot of that has to do with how I've been putting of late, which hasn't been that great. I've had a few rounds where I've putted well and the scores have been better. So I've been working on that and hopefully it changes around soon and uh, I'll be putting well. And I think if I do that, I'll be winning a lot more. Giving him company was Bengaluru's Khalin Joshi. After playing 17 tournaments on the Asian Tour in 2015, he was confident about his game and now wanted to showcase his talent in Hyderabad. I always like coming back here, but the only thing is that I'm a vegetarian, so like I don't get to eat the biryani. But otherwise, the golf course is great. Uh, leaving the uh, the weather apart, it, like the golf course is great. We like it's a great experience coming like, like coming back here for the second edition and uh, playing inside like uh, such a beautiful golf course. So it's obviously I'm looking forward to the tournament starting and uh, like hopefully I can contend at uh, like all four days. The picturesque Hyderabad Golf Club was all set to host the Golconda Masters Golf Championship 2016. The 212-acre track provides a splendid 18-hole, 6,200-yard, par 71 layout to play at. Holes from 14 to 17 are inside the Golconda Fort, making the course one of its kind. Our course is a bit short, as you would see if you look at it on the scorecard, but we create enough challenges, we put enough bunkers, we grow the rough, and we make the greens. Uh, fast enough and there are subtle undulations uh, where the pros are challenged to play their best game and uh, ultimately we have to defend our course at the same time the pros are going to try to score the best so it's, it's a battle that we're going to face every year. Well this is my first time here and I'm really taken aback this is a beautiful golf course and uh, I mean it's a, it's a heritage property I mean uh, they still have the uh, old cannons lying around the golf course with the fort around the golf course, I mean, it was totally unexpected and the golf course is in great shape. It's a superb feeling to be playing from so high up uh, on the fort walls. Uh, it's great because you get a, a whole view of the whole golf course, the fort around that's surrounding the whole course. And it's superb to actually see what they've made out of 
a, a place of so much heritage and they've made it into a fantastic golf course now. I mean the golf course especially off the tee is, is quite tight. The bunkers are, are really well placed um, and the greens, um, some of them have a lot of undulations in them so that obviously adds to the challenge as well. So uh, and there's a lot of shape to all the holes so it's not something that you can just hit, you know, hit a lot of um, big shots off the tee and, and get away with it. So you really have to think your way on the course. Yeah, it's a, it's a challenging course because it's tight but, but once you hit the fairways, I think you'll give yourself so many birdie chances that, that you can go low. So I think the scoring will be good here. You know, it's quite incredible the way that it's designed and it, uh, you've got to hit all kind of golf shots and you've got to be confident in your ball striking. So I would see good ball strikers who are confident up the leaderboard this week and uh, people who are not striking it well will find it difficult to score because it's not easy to make putts. With a common task at hand, all the 126 golfers were ready to take on the Hyderabad Golf Club under perfect weather conditions. <laughs> Defending champion Harendra Gupta failed to get a good start owing to his double bogey on the first hole. He still managed a 3-under round on the day with 7 birdies and 2 bogeys to take the tied 11th spot on the leaderboard. Khalin Joshi also played a round of 3-under on the day. He was even par after the first 9 holes but managed to produce 3 birdies on the back 9. The man in form, Shubhankar Sharma, played a fantastic round of 5-under on day 1 at the Hyderabad Golf Club to take the tied 4th position with Mandeo Singh Pathania. One shot ahead at the third spot was Sri Lanka's Anura Rohana. Starting from the 10th tee, Rohana carded four birdies on the back nine. He produced three more birdies with one bogey after the turn. The second place was taken by Abhijit Singh Chadha at 7-under. The 215 built open champion carded seven birdies and an eagle with two bogeys on the day. Chandigarh's Ajitesh Sandhu fired a cracker of a round on day one to take the opening day's honours. He had a fantastic bogey-free outing with nine birdies on his card. I uh, hit it really great today, uh, but I have been doing that for a while, so that wasn't something that really surprised me, but I putted really well. So uh, I've been working on that for a while and I made a few long putts and made all the putts that I should have. So uh, that's what I'll take into the rest of the week. A look at the leaderboard then, the top three spots were taken by Ajitesh Sandhu, Abhijit Singh Chadha and Anura Rohana respectively. Ani Baisoya, Vinod Kumar and 2014 Rolex rankings winner Shankar Das were tied 6th at 4 under with two others. 43 golfers managed to put an under par score on the leaderboard on day one of the Golconda Masters Golf Championship 2016. It's time now to take a break on Inside the PGTI. We'll come back with all the action from days 2 and 3, so stick around. This is Inside the PGTI and in the last week of February, we were in Hyderabad, the city of Nizams for the Golconda Masters Golf Championship 2016. Overnight leader Ajitesh Sandhu failed to get a good start on day two as he carded a double bogey and a bogey on the first two holes. He announced a comeback later with seven birdies but another bogey on the 18th saw him carding a round of three under for the day. He was still leading the charts at 12 under overall. I'm happy in the position that I can be in. It's always the best position is 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 to be at number one. So um, that's what we all work for. Two shots behind the leader, the sole second place was taken by Shubhankar Sharma. He filed a card of five under on the day with six birdies and one bogey marked on it. And I played really well. I played really well last week, and I think I just got the form from last week, and I've continued to play well the first two days. Yesterday was pretty good. I missed a few putts, but. Shot a good 5-under and I told myself if I can shoot another 5-under on the second day, I'll take it any day. So yeah, I, I think I played solid all day, hit the ball really well. I think I can putt slightly better, can make a few 10-footers, but all in all, I'm pretty happy with the way I played, yeah. After a decent round of 3-under on day one, Firoz Ali Mullah carded a commendable 6-under round on day two to take the third place on the leaderboard. He fired two eagles and four birdies on the day with two bogeys on the front nine. 19-year-old Manu Gandas also managed a round of 6-under on the second day with 8 birdies and 2 bogeys on his card. 
After an awful round of 3 over on day 1, Udayan Mane managed a round of 2 under on the second day. He fired 4 birdies on the last 5 holes to make the cut in the Golconda Masters 2016. Ajitesh Sandhu was at the top with a two-shot lead over Shubhankar Sharma after the first two days. Viroz Ali Molla was third on the leaderboard at 9-under overall. Manu Gandas, Anura Rohana and Shankar Das took the tied fourth place at 8-under overall. Khalin Joshi and Mukesh Kumar were tied seventh with two others. The cut fell at 1-over-143 with 52 professionals making it to the money rounds. Ajitesh Sandhu managed to hold on to his lead for the third consecutive day with an amazing round of 5 under 66 thanks to 6 birdies. A solitary bogey on the third hole was the only blemish on his card. I didn't start off hot off the blocks. Uh, bogey 3 to start off which was a little bit of a setback especially with both my playing partners starting out hot. Uh, but uh, again, you know, on the golf course there's so many opportunities so if you're patient and you hang in there, there's uh, always a chance for you to come back which is exactly what I did in the back nine. Shubhankar Sharma was showing some consistency in the tournament. After carding rounds of 5-under on the first two days, he played a round of 6-under on day three to take the sole second place at 16-under overall. I got off to a good start. I was 3-under through nine holes. I missed a few putts. I mean, they were good putts, just, just wrong line. But yeah, I think I just uh, started really well, which I've been doing for the past three days. And uh, once you start well, it's, you know, you can just start making birdies and like once you are 2-3 under, you can aim for a better score, you can shoot like 2-3 under more in the back nine and shoot for a 5-6 under. So yeah, I think that's what I'm doing and uh, I'm hitting the ball really well. So yeah, I think I've managed myself really well on the course. Hiroz Ali Mulla also played a penultimate round of 6 under to take the third spot on the leaderboard with 5 birdies, 1 eagle and a bogey on his card. Bengaluru's Khalin Joshi too managed the card of 6-under on the third day of the Golconda Masters Golf Championship 2016. This took him to the fourth place from the top at 13-under overall. Udayan Mane was struggling to make the cut on the second day, but he played good golf in the penultimate round at Hyderabad Golf Club to take the 15th spot. He fired six birdies and an eagle on the day, but also dropped a shot on the par 5 17th hole. Sanjeev Kumar, R. Murthy and Shankar Das took the tied 7th place at 10-under overall. Mukesh Kumar and Manu Gandas were tied 5th at 11-under. Ajitesh Sandhu, looking to win a title after 3 years, was at the top with a one-shot advantage. Hi, I'm Torun Bikram Shahi, here in the historical city of Hyderabad for the 2016 Golconda Masters. I'm accompanied on this trip by my beautiful wife Divya and this is our first trip to this to this to city Hyderabad. to Hyderabad and uh, let me share some of our experiences today that we that we had we went to the beautiful Golconda fort after my uh, after my round and uh, I'm just going to ask her a few questions about how she felt about it so how was the trip to the fort? It was really nice. It was really beautiful. It was nice just taking in the sights and, and clicking a whole lot of pictures while we were there. And, you know, taking in the history, there are a lot of um, intricate architectural details that were really interesting as well about the fort. And I think it was just like very peaceful. Yeah, it was. It, relaxing it was, after the round. It is a beautiful, beautiful yeah. fort and just the walk just seeing how it was made and how beautiful it is. It was phenomenal. And I enjoyed just sitting there for a while on the wall and just, you know, shooting the breeze with you. I think that was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, it, it was, it was, it was. And uh, how do you like the golf course? I think it's lovely. I think it's very unique in that it's actually inside a fort, which is quite fantastic. How do you like it? How do you feel about playing on the golf course? Well, it's, it's amazing to have my wife accompany me to the golf course, just walk, walk with me, just in this, in this heat and it's, it's... It's fun to walk with you despite the heat. Yeah, and just the fact that the golf course is situated in the fort itself, it, it's just beautiful. I love that putt because when you're standing there over a putt, I'm actually standing there taking pictures of you. Hopefully, like, you know, trying not to distract you, of course. But it's a lot of fun <laughs> even when you're on no, the no. green, I'm like trying. I, yes. I agree with you because 
there are times when I'm on the on the on the tea box and I'm just admiring the view and I just you can't get enough of this beautiful golf course. What do you think of the food and what do you think of the hospitality that we've been the hospitality has been very warm and welcoming and lovely. The food has been interesting. We've just been eating a whole lot of biryani since we got here, which must be fun for you as well. Oh, I'm a, it's, a, it's a meat lover's paradise and I can't complain. <laughs> I'm a vegetarian, even I'm not complaining. We've had such a beautiful time in Hyderabad. The people, the food, the golf course. It's been really, really, really memorable. So hopefully we will see you again in 2017 back here in Hyderabad for the Golconda Masters. Can Ajitesh overcome the challenge from the chasing pack in the final round? We'll find out after this break. Welcome back to Inside the PGTI. After the action-packed penultimate round of the Golconda Masters 2016, Fudi Udayan Mane went about taking something off his to-do list in Hyderabad as he took his golfing buddy Vikrant Chopra out dining at the city's famous biryani outlet, Paradise Biryani. Hi Udayan. Hi. Hi Vikrant. Hi. hi. My name is Abhijit and I'm the general manager training for Paradise. We are glad to host you today to the world's favorite biryani. Today we are going to offer you chicken biryani, wow. mutton biryani, veg biryani and egg biryani with some delicious range of kebabs. Lovely. My personal favorite is mutton biryani, but I want to leave you to decide what is yours. Perfect. Nice. Right. Nice. Thank you so much and have a great time and uh, have a great time at paradise. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yaar Vikran, I'm famished. Let's start with the mutton biryani. Done. Yeah, wow. This chicken biryani, amazing. The chicken is so amazing. tender, it's really good. Somebody told me that when you come to Hyderabad, you must try the biryani. And what best, coming to the best uh, hotel in town, the Paradise Hotel. And uh, I personally like the mutton biryani, it was just amazing. And there's one, this kebab here. It was just melting in my mouth. Yeah? Right. That good? Yeah. Just go for it. This is brilliant. Whoa. One of the kebabs, uh, the chicken kali mirch kebab, I think, that was unbelievable. Yeah. Everything looked so good. Uh, I think I wanted to eat it all. Um, but because of my uh, diet, like I have to control, I think I controlled myself pretty well out there. Konsa? I don't know. No, one partner, one cake. Okay, okay, fine, okay. So, this is the double meat. Okay. After that, I'll eat this. Okay. And then exchange it. I like that idea. What's the thing? If you score good, then you'll get both. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. It's a little bit. Wow. Now, it looks like Hyderabad is going to be successful. Yeah? Yeah. No, no, the, both the desserts we had were amazing. Their specialities here, Kobani ka meetha and double ka meetha. So, me and then kept fighting on uh, for the dessert, but uh, we had our own share and it was just amazing, out of the world. It was uh, time well spent for sure. I learned a lot from Vikrant sir. He, uh, you know, is a role model for a lot of us on the PGT, especially us rookies and second years and, uh, you know, the guys who just started their professional careers. Uh, he's uh, grinded through it all and we can definitely learn a lot more things uh, from him uh, about professional golf and tour life and how to conduct oneself and how to have fun in general. Feroz Ali Mullah, who won the season opener in Kochi, played a forgettable final round of 3 over 74. His first bogey of the day came on the fourth hole as he missed this 5-foot putt for par. The former Indian Open champion made amends with two birdies post that, but this bogey on the 14th pulled him back a bit. His day went from bad to worse after a poor tee shot on the par 3 16th saw him dropping another stroke. His dismal run continued in the final two holes as back-to-back -back bogeys saw him finishing with the tournament overall score of 12 under to take the tied 7th place.
Playing in the penultimate group, veteran Mukesh Kumar started his day on a high, bagging a birdie on the opening hole to move to 12 under. His playing partner Khalin Joshi also carded a birdie on the same hole to close in on Shubhankar Sharma and leader Ajitesh Sandhu as he climbed up to 14 under. After collecting a par on the first, Shubhankar held a birdie on the second hole thanks to this measured approach and tied for the lead at 17 under. Minutes later, Ajitesh had this 8 footer for birdie on the same hole. Muniappa's putter seemed to be doing the trick for the Chandigarh golfer as he was quick to reclaim the sole lead moving to 18 under. Khalin had a golden opportunity to move close to the top with this birdie chance on the par 4 fifth hole but he completely misread the line to end up with a par staying at 14 under. Back in the leader group an intense fight for the title was on between Ajitesh and Shubhankar. First Shubhankar struck a birdie on the third and then Ajitesh held this birdie putt on the fourth hole to keep his slender lead. With the tussle on at the top Mukesh made his presence felt with his second birdie of the day on the sixth to join Khalin at 14 under. 2015 Ahmedabad Masters champion Khalin's putting let him down again on the eighth hole as he missed another birdie chance. Mukesh though bagged the birdie on the same hole to move to within four shots of the leader. Aiming for his first pro win in 3 years, Ajitesh put some pressure on Shubhankar with this clinical chip shot on the 8th to set up an easy birdie. With 10 holes to go, he was now leading the charts by 2 strokes at 20 under. In his bid to put some pressure on Ajitesh, Mukesh continued with his birdie run. The stalwart made a birdie on the 9th and then hold this mammoth putt for birdie on the 10th to go to 16 under and lie 4 shots behind the leader. Shubhankar let Ajitesh off the hook dropping two shots on the 10th after losing his ball from the tee to slip down to 16 under alongside Mukesh Kumar. This gave Ajitesh a bit of breathing space as he now led the tournament by four shots. Mukesh wasn't able to carry forward the momentum as the 50 year old dropped two consecutive strokes on the 12th and 13th. Ajitesh looked set to run away with the trophy thanks to back-to-back -back birdies on the 11th and 12th before the 2012 DLF Masters champion dropped his first shot of the day on the 13th. That blemish didn't hurt him much as he still maintained a four-stroke lead. Khalin's striking was impeccable all day, but it was his putting that was a cause for concern. After a birdie on the 15th, he missed this par putt on the next hole to move back to 14 under. He would go on to end his tournament on that score for a sole fourth finish. Mukesh carded a birdie on the 17th to move to 15 under and he almost added another to his day's tally but just missed on the final hole to book the third position on the final leaderboard. Shubhankar was quick to recover from his double bogey on the 10th as he fired three birdies on the 12th, 14th and 17th holes. The birdie blitz wasn't enough though as he went on to complete his round with a par on the 18th for a tournament total of 19 under overall. Having led the tournament from day 1, Ajitesh stamped his authority on the tournament with a birdie birdie finish to seal the event in style. The wait was a long one for him, but he was back to his winning ways in Hyderabad with a commanding four stroke triumph at the Golconda Masters. A look at the final leaderboard then. Shamim Khan took the 9th place at 11 under while Feroz Ali Molla and Manu Gandas were tied 7th with an overall score of 12 under. Last year's winner Harendra Gupta shared the 5th spot with Si Muniappa at 13 under. Khalin's round of 1 under 70 saw him settling for the 4th spot with Mukesh Kumar registering another top 5 finish as he took the sole third place. Shubhankar gave it his all but had to settle for the runners up place with an overall score of 19 under. The man of the moment was Chandigarh's Ajitesh Sandhu who played a mesmerizing final round of 6 under to bag the coveted Golconda Masters trophy in Hyderabad. Yeah, I'm extremely happy about my performance this week. Um, I was one of my goals uh, for a long time to go wire to wire and uh, I've been able to achieve that this week which is uh, a dream come true. Winning is a habit uh, and the more you win the more you get used to it the more you start winning so uh, I'm looking forward to The weeks coming up there's a lot of events on the PGTI especially coming up so I'll be 
I'll be playing all of them and hopefully uh, I'll be winning much more than I have. Three years, three months and 14 days. That's how long it took Ajitesh Sandhu to win his second PGTI title. That's a wrap on this edition as we congratulate him for his wire-to-wire -wire victory in the city of Nizams. Goodbye.